In this lesson we are going to continue covering the topic of making queries and today we are going to learn how to make queries to the objects that are uh, having some relations with uh, other, other objects and uh, other models. So here I have a model student and this model student has many to one relation with study program and many to many to teachers. And so I think we can start. I already opened a shell and so in the beginning, of course, we can uh, just create study program. Computer science, for example. Let's save it. Let's also create a teacher. And let's call him, I uh, don't know, just teacher for simplicity of that. And now let's finally create a student. Uh, let's call him John, age 20. And basically, you don't need to specify, any, though you, you can, uh, but you don't need to specify anything uh, at this stage uh, when we create an object. But for example, uh, if you want to uh, add a program, you can just say student program and then uh, actually it's not program, it's of course study program and let's assign it uh, to program which we just defined and uh, in the case of teachers it, it's a little bit different because teachers actually is a list of objects so if you want to add something to the list uh, we should say student teach, teachers and add teacher and let's not save it query the student and we see that we have uh, a program and uh, well I, I didn't really I didn't manage to actually uh, write normal string representation for teachers but you can just trust me that uh, we have a well, we, we actually can check it, you know, uh, that we actually have a teacher in the list of teachers. Uh, so if you want to see, for example, you know, um, study program, we do it like that. If you want to see teachers, uh, because it is a list, it will return query set. So to return all the teachers we say all and we have here our teacher so the other thing that I wanted to show you is um, actually uh, the filtering stuff so for example uh, we might want to find a student uh, or all the students that have a particular study program so in order to do it we say student objects filter and then uh, you know as uh, as we are in the student uh, object in a student model uh, for example we say study program and then we can actually uh, span this uh, study program object and we can find the name 
of study program. So we can filter by name of the study program. And that's called spanning. And in order to do that, uh, we, we uh, write two underscores. So the name of the field, the name of the foreign field, and then two underscores, and then we say name, for example, or uh, any, any other field of this object. All right, so we have a student, and the student have a field study program, which itself is a object of the study program model. And then uh, after two underscores, we can actually specify the name of this uh, second object and we can say computer science and here we see all the students which has computer science study program uh, the same can be done for teachers so we can find all the students which have a teacher whose name is as we specify that teacher and yes uh, John has a teacher whose name is a teacher we can also go into in the uh, backwards direction so we can actually find a study program and filter it by a student and student here is basically a automatically assigned um, name for a field student so this field doesn't really exist we didn't specify that but as we have a relation as student have relation to study program study program will have relation to student and it will just um, use this uh, name of the model uh, just with uh, lower cases so filter it student for example name equals John so we are basically searching for a study program uh, uh, which is um, so, uh, so this study program, which is held by a student with the name John. And the same goes to teachers. We can find teachers whose student, uh, the, the teachers who have a student whose name is John. And we have this teacher.